Uh, welcome back from the coffee break. I'm a counsel. If you're ready to continue, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The witness is being brought in. Thank you. Welcome back, Mr. Witness. Sir, Bismillah. Thank you very much. Um, before the break, you were telling us how you were correcting some of the rights violations that were made. And you were saying that the government by the Jame government by reinstating some officers who were dismissed. Correct? As best correct. You also told us about uh, instances where you offered uh, advice and contrary views to, for, for positions taken by Jami to dismiss uh, certain officers. That is in several circumstances. I have not mentioned some of them, and I want, I want to believe that they are very key here. Uh, if you would allow me to mention, because my mind comes to reflect on them now. Could you go ahead? Uh, and, and let's make it short. Uh, we have uh, Another instance is when he asked me to give him the names of all those who are serving at the uh, tourism industry, TDA. And that is from the Fonisina Doko. When you baby Doko will have TDA, when you talk about the Muntan in Mafo and Kamada men, we will be to the other. I prepared the list. The Kaitoni is a few. I thought it was going to be a good news for me. They were about 124. Uh, the they were all dismissed. I found very uncomfortable. And this is something that I have to fight. For their possible reinstatement. It has taken me over almost a month. To see him was a problem. I went to him. And I explained to him. Quite a 75% of those that are dismissed were recruits. He was personally selected by me. They were deployed personally identified by me. Why I, I want to be involved in that case? I instructed the commander of the PRU then. To provide me with names of officers that are very decent. And I completed drug free. And pardon? I completely drug free. He conducted the selection. And I said before their deployment, I want to come and address them. Some of the members I discovered are not uh, decent. And they, I have reasons to believe that they are the tech pros. I said no way. 
Let everybody fall in here. And I was the one because I had been their commander. And I have interaction with several of them during their training. I always go to the training school to give them lectures. Also time in, on human rights issues and, and investigative matters. And, 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 and so I have to go to him and then the, um, appeal to him that these officers are one of my best officers. And then I've spent a lot on them. For 10 good months you are under training. Because when I came in, I changed the training syllabus from five, five months to 10 months. So to me, it is very unfair at that time. I know something must have happened. But I always want to narrow it down to a particular person. And this was, he never disclosed to me what had happened. That's why I made a global appeal. There were, there were 121 of them were reinstated. These are people who are under my, uh, on my responsibility to promote. That means they are all less than chief inspector, chief inspector and below. chief inspector senior officers, three of them, it has to take a process. The, the bottom line here is. You pleaded with Jame yes. for their reinstatement. And he accepted. And he accepted. So in fact, in some instances when people pleaded with him, he would accept. Well, I don't know because many people come here and say they, they choose his bad mood or good mood. For me, the moment I, you hit me, I will react. I don't normally look at the condition in which I'm going to find him. But my, in, my interest is to make sure that my people are not unlawfully terminated. But Mr. Witness, you would agree with me in that in spite of all this, human rights violations continue to happen even within the police under your watch. But I said that the son of Manin Nalago, Hanin Kabi, Onya, Onya, and Ninkaraku, Bekono, Hanamadi Nyantatinal, Tentental Cathedral, Police of Maralo, Maralo, Kono, Police of Kono, this police of Kono, if it happens, could you take that again? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying because uh, uh, officers, when you, when you dip, we send officers out, you cannot monitor everything that they are doing because there are people responsible of their welfare and, uh, and management. But, but it was still within the knowledge of the management of the police that human rights violations were happening within the police. Yes, that's also why that leads me because when I assume office, the first thing that I did is to create complaints. Uh, complaints this and this one was there, but I created human rights office. All public complaints are compiled in that office. And then actions taken. And and principal among the human rights violations were unlawful detentions. Unlawful detentions. 
Yes, that's definitely unlawful detention is a violation. And it used to happen in the police. No, I don't like a police kundaro. I will not, I will not dispute that fact. <laughs> no, so so de. And, and, and that, 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 that's that's used to happen under your watch. No, I don't like a case. It's a marauder from court. Uh, when I was the IG, but on the, not on directly under my watch because they have supervision. There are so they have supervisors at different locations. Ah, bring me IG to akaso akake barbitu ulu. Imanta rante la maroni ya maro koto ko imente fomo le koto ka anyanta kela nyamin ka belar imente le koto. But of course, Mr. Witness, you know that uh, that would not absolve you of responsibility. If it happened under your watch as IGP, you are responsible ultimately. Yalo ne zero nyinga ma haninga bi onyanya ya fo ya in order to avoid that responsibility, that was the, that's the reason why I created the Human Rights Office for people to have chance to complain. Yes, that may have been the case. Uh, right, but what would have been more effective uh, would be a position on your part that would prevent these rights violations from happening. Don't you think that is the case? This, the best way to do is to 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 include human rights um, this thing in the in the curriculum memma be pu kendo de yelam hadama ya ala gadu hadama ya nyanto no tukumo lundi ila ko no kenya lo ko but uh, would it, it be more effective also to have standard operating procedures that would prevent rights violations from happening but ya mere ma mere fana sarto ni tamandiri bu bambandi wala nyanna tarla kay tara lori nje me ya lonko wala bantam bin lanyin hadama ya nyanta tinyala ya lonko be kere no puri kanake of course i want to believe that if you look at the files correspondence from the igp's office to regional commissioners you will see quite a number of uh, warnings um sub memos uh, record of um, or detaining people for a longer duration than, duration than necessary. Yeah, but we need to get to the Jamaju be filed in the middle. Kabonde la karo la kata ni police ni atu niko liya police ni alu mimi dinkira uto kata. Dandalaro uto kata na jamu ni bambanda aliya Amerika uno uto kata na kaitu uto balan kamenki itolie kuni ni kamala isi hakilo tu inyanta kuni mimi korosi la puru inyanta kuni tamani la jamu la duko. I have given you a name and uh, I did so purposely for reasons of privacy. Not to a dealer. I would that circulate it to the chair and uh, Dali, the deputy chair. Dali lawyer sabu nga dila puru kulo kono drong. This person was detained. Nyumari nyi ya mudale ya sindidu la keli. You are aware of it? Ya kala mudale. And uh, this person was unlawfully detained? And nyumari nyi ya mudale ya sindidu la keli luwanta ya kama. Correct? Yeah. Uh, this, Don't the yeah, this person was detained. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Answer the questions. Yeah. Unlawfully. Well, I would not say unlawfully. Uh, in, in, excess, in, in excess of the statutorily allowed limit. Yes, that's true. And that's a violation of the person's rights. Mm. Let's be gen gender neutral here. Yeah, definitely. It happened during your watch. Yes, it happened during my watch, but uh, just I think if you also ask uh -huh. the person, uh -huh. the person will tell you what I've accorded. Yes, yes. I'm sure that the you would accept. I mean, at a particular level, general courtesy would be accorded to to one another.
Bunyani with that. Bunyani is <coughs> would be accorded to one another. Yes, but it's very unusual for the IGP mm -hmm. to come down and ruin everything. Yes, but that uh, person. Uh, Pro IGP follow a gene and canal or Kulu Dolu Taman di Bundalula, Nanyalan Kodolori. But what I'm trying to drive at here is that there was a blatant violation of a person's right and the IGP was aware of it. President Debe Bundaman no Masata Kaum, no Makawala Mindigo, Filam, Kofel, Missalve, Mofila, Yamea Lonko, Ia Mutaya, Sindhu Black Lia, and Yantotina, and Member Maralimo Kordal, Memo IGP, Aya Kalamutale. And the IGP did not do anything to stop or to end the violation of the right. And the IGP, the police or the police, 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 the get up get the person out ha mo kuba tamandi pour kaje amari ya bo mutokol because i was only asked to take custody of her that we can no men let me get the new to na amari muta but this is precisely the point in am kuwol fawati this is another violation of rights. You are not, as IGP, you are not just a custodian of people for the head of state to come and say, keep this person for me. It's, it's not like being a taxman and you are giving a cow to keep. The IGP is the inspector general of police and cannot act in that capacity for the president. You agree with that? Can kake IGP di police on nyaato ko de keno la nyindi do yetaro dingira nyindo bi damete yalon ko president bi na lay mona ta ko ni muta jangal ya sindi nya amang ke ko bukata wo nyaama yetaro IGP di police on ko ndon ko te amang ke ni si ko rawde bi yalon ko ba fala ko moyna ta ko ni ni so ta ya muta nya jam o nyaama ko bukata wo nyaama probably um things are not going that way the way it should be but then at the level of me personally this is not the only Situation. Yeah, no, no, no. Let, let, let's yeah, focus, no, no. Let's focus no, no. on this one first. Uh, yeah. uh, I have an important reason for bringing these things out. Yes. Authority is not to be abused. No. no. Authority is not to be abused. Authority is to be exercised in accordance with law and it has to be exercised judiciously. You agree with that? Yes. Okay. It, it was a blatant violation of rights. It was also abuse of authority for the president just to show, keep this person for me here. Yeah. That is a blatant violation of rights, you would agree. I would agree that that's, 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 that's the violation of rights. You, you would also agree that it ought not to have happened. Yes. Ah. You would agree with me that in a democracy, the IGP should have said, Mr. President, you are asking me to violate this person's rights. And under the Constitution, I am obliged to protect this person's rights. Mr. President, democracy, this is what ought to have happened. Democracy, I cannot remember exactly the facts of that matter. Yeah, hold on a second. Council, I'm a there's um, a lot of exchange going on between the two of you in the abstract. 
Can we see the system at that time? So we, we um, yes. should not be in the picture. Yes, thank, thank you, Mr. Chair, for that. <laughs> a lot of abstract <laughs> <in the> discussion. <laughs> avoiding gender, avoiding this, avoiding that, and we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but yes, you would, I, I, I you would agree. agree with me that in a democracy... The son of Malako, Dinkit Adamalanko, democracy, the Tama Kanji. The IGP should have. <coughs> IGP, Memo Police, Lokundong, Gold, and Yandale. Inform the president that you are asking me to violate the rights of a person, and under the law, I am obliged to protect the rights of that person. Now, for the president, when you are coming to the capital, you are going to be in the middle of the country. You are going to walk on. I am attending the whole thing. You are going to be in the middle of the country. You are going to be in the middle of the country. You are going to be in the middle of the country. That's right. I I personally made several efforts. So now, when you are going to be in the middle of the country. I, if I remember, I think this is about. Um, uh, Don't give us the facts. Yeah. Don't give us the facts because okay. it will disclose the person's yeah. name. So I met. I, I approached the. I went to the AG's chairmans. Attorney General Office Bato. This was in the form of a white paper. And the white paper, was, the white paper was sent to AG's chambers. Review. And then Fred and the instruction comes. I made several attempts. I have a personal relationship with the person. It's not because of my relationship with, with, with the person that I made that move. The person is my blood cousin. So I made several efforts. That does not change the fact that the person's rights were violated. The moment you are detained more than necessary, your rights have been violated. Well, Mr. Mr. Witness, it's not being detained beyond more than necessary. It's being detained more than the allowed limits on the law. Right. I, I bring these things out mm -hmm. so that public officers are not required to implement unlawful orders Kaya. irrespective of where they come from kai tandi fo anun ka senandi ko jamala do ku lalu manke ka dum ku do dumo de pour ka molta ke muta ke la nyandol ta ka tinya ni kamala ko mo kin wala nafa ka that's right muto ya ti and you should not have done it even though the orders came from the president hanni ngatra o kan ni go da president wala karola do you agree with that sonta wala la ba uh I, I always, as I said, I, I know you made efforts, but let's yes. put aside the efforts. The bottom line is, it should not have happened. That I agree. By making it happen, you also contributed to violating the law. In spite of the efforts you have made, yeah. by yeah. making it happen, if, if I want, to, con con if I want to contribute, I would not have made several efforts. Uh. And not only this person, uh. but quite a number of them, I choose where this where, where is, where is com comfortable for them. Uh, to me, to me, witness, to me if we if we follow that you would see that there was an animal farm uh, wherein some people receive better treatment than others. Depending on their status in society and personal relationships with the officers entrusted with their care. 
which by itself is still bad because it's discrimination I, I qualify my last statement by telling you Mr. that uh, I did not do it because I'm related to the person. Okay. And that's why I, I went further to tell you several other people that I don't even know. I don't know how to do it. 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 I don't I agree with that. Uh, and understand the objective here. Our mantra here is never again shall these things happen in our country. Uh, our president is a public officer whose primary responsibility is to uphold the constitution and to ensure that those officers under him also respect and uphold the constitution so we are doing this exercise so that all of us would learn from the mistakes of the past undoubtedly in the discharge of public functions there, are, there were a lot of good men and there were a lot of good men who did a lot of good things. But even among those good men, some of them did wrong. It still does not absolve them of responsibility. And unless we bring these things out, we will not learn from them. It was wrong for the president to order the detention of this person beyond the statutorily allowed limits. You agree? I agree. I agree with some, uh, the rest of the people. In fact, under the laws of this country, it's only judicial officers who are em empowered by law to detain people beyond the statutory allowed limit. I think the TV is frozen. Or oh, the pictures are frozen. <laughs> no, no, I am alive and kicking. <laughs> you would agree with that? Yes, of course. Okay. And therefore, what would you advise the Inspector General of Police if the President were to give him or her, whosoever IGP is, if the president were to give him or her an unlawful order. president I don't think what that happened will ever never will ever happen in this country. Mr. Mr. Witness, you have not answered my question. Yes, I will, I will, I will continue. My advice to the IGP that nobody should give instructions or they should not accept any instruction for anybody by literature. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness. Let's now move on uh, to the issue of uh, the Ghanaians. Uh, you returned to Gambia in 2007. Yes. 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 Yes.
last time I issue, can the witnesses mention a list that he gave to Jame of 124 individuals, I believe he said in the tourist sector. In the tourist sector. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's the third reference is made to a list that he had given to Jame. Can he include in what you requested them uh, by Wednesday to get us copies of um, those um, at least correspondence? And if we, if we can do it in writing to him, so he would not, um, uh, I believe he would deliver, but uh, to be sure that uh, we requested um, those things for our own records as well. Um, uh, legal counsel in uh, Karok, Kaitu Mulami Alonko, Udokula Mumu, Amin Nano Tobe Dame, Mami Alonko, Kobu Dokola Mutua, Lunta Latan in Madinkira Leto, a fancy Utoni Soto, Wire, a Kaitu Dolbija Lemon Lakumo for the Bari, Nilton was a Kaitu Mum for Nambalafasi, Falan Lafaji, Puri in Kamala, a basic doing the Sedia, Kaitu Lukuru Sulatan Menaja. I'm not sure whether that document may be available at the headquarters. But what I know is that the list was submitted to me by their commander and then it was General Baji that he sent and I delivered that list to him. All the officers are still, quite a number of them are alive and I, um, I even met one of them part, being part of the officers here just a uh, few minutes ago. He, he came to greet me. You know, so uh, the officers are 124, but 121 are reinstated. Yes, the yes. three others are not. I'm not sure whether the, the list, because the list was submitted to me, and he was in a hurry, and I gave it to General Baji and I gave it to him. But I know they are, they are dismissal reads all their names. Probably you will, you will, you will see that, le that we can get that from the headquarters. The list that I submitted may not be available because I want to believe that I don't make copy of that. But the, his reaction to the dismissal, that is obvious that it should be available at the police headquarters. Well, listo, what to be kai to nambala amun ko yin mufa beta la police korda ba to sai ka to yin kamala birin kai to yin nata nya moto nata kan ne adun bira fata tam nta fala nata o kai to ne cika ngadi general bajila bitu ye kolu tambindi ye tentendi wala nyama bar bitu hanin bi na lon ko tolu men ya lon ko isa feta wala wulu mu anin nano eh a tolu a sekelo ye tara police la korda ba to la kitabu bala ka to ina tam mo mu anin kilimo be murundi la pala so lu tole okay as I said, that was the third lesson that you referred Um, the request in writing so you know exactly what we are looking for from your testimony here. But, um, thank you very much. Um, uh, Council, you may continue. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Witness, you did say that you became CMC in 2009. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, I, I want to believe you are mistaken. Uh, 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 take a look at this document. You would agree that this is a document from where? State House, isn't it? Mansala Kordabaro Fonte. Yes, this then is it should be late two thousand and eight. Ah, we are what two thousand and eight Bangula Mafanet. Let's say that as per this letter. Langafogo Kasujini in later Okan. A joint, a task force was established by Gambia government and the support team to the task force uh, to deal with the UN EU delegation that was to come to Gambia to investigate the issue of 
the West African migrants who were killed in this country. Yes. Ha. And uh, this letter is dated 4th September 2008. Correct? Correct. And in the letter, you are included as a member of the task for support team. You are number two, number three rather on the support team list. And you are listed as crime management coordinator. So by this it means therefore that before September 4th, 2008, you are already yeah, CMC. CMC. You agree with that? I agree with that. That's good. And by this letter, it shows that the government took the visit of this delegation very seriously. Just looking at the task force that were set up, shows that the government included very high profile people in the in the in the task force could you read out the membership i do not see counselor i do not see this letter you did not see it before never, never seen this letter all that i know is that i'm instructed that I am selected and I should be there. I am not surprised that you did not see it. Because the letter would have been addressed, at least the one that went to the police would have been addressed to the IGP. Do you agree? But it's copied to IGP. Precisely my point. And it would be for the IGP to instruct you. And it was the IGP who instructed you. He told me that I should be part of that task force. I should report to the ministry on a particular date. Do you have any reason to doubt the authenticity of this letter? Well, since I am part of it and it's, 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 it's very clear and I also uh, form part of the task force, I have no reason to, to, to disbelieve. Why Could you read out the names of the members of the task force? The composition of the task force, the composition of the task force is as follows. Secretary General Office of the President. Secretary General President of the Secretary of State for Interior. Secretary of State Secretary of State for Justice. Secretary of State, Mr. Martin Kintola. Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs. Secretary of State, Mr. Ben Bantala Banko Lutema. Inspector General of Police. Police Officer Lakundo Nko. Director General of the NIA. Director General Ulem NIA Nko Lanyato. Director of Defence Staff. Mr. Falamu Nyato Nko Lanyato. Soldier Ola Karola. Support Team. Marco Lalu. Malamin Sise. Malamin Sise. Umo Kujabi. Umo Kujabi. Yangu Basongo. Yangu Basongo. Ali Jaba. Ali Jabal, Ibrahim Madrame, Ibrahim Madrame, Asis Haidara, Anin Asis Haidara, Good. And our bar. Anin our bar. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chair, we asked to put this letter in evidence. It should be Exhibit 27, Exhibit 207.
Request granted, Council. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Witness, before you return, yes, you want to say something? Um, I'm not sure whether I'm the right person to tender this particular document. I'm not going to for until I'm not even in time in Kaito Bundilajam. Because I've never seen this document. Kato in Kaito until I'm not aware. Even though I believe in his genuine his genuinity. I'm not allowed to look into the subtle reality. But um, the soon have been to me. It's not been tendered to me. But until I'm here, what I'm I'm not even going to the program. If it is the procedure, I wouldn't mind also. But I think you have answered the question. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, uh, technically, uh, in a trial, there has to be that connection between the person and the document tendered. Thank you. Thank you. But, uh, the commission of inquiry is the master of his own procedures. So that answered your question. Thank you. I am happy with the fact that you have raised this issue. But the mere fact that you are comfortable with the document. And the fact that there is no reason to doubt its authenticity. Is in fact good reason why we should put it in. And this also saves time. Because if we were to call a witness no. before you, just to put in this document, a lot of time would have been wasted. It's good that we save time. That's right. And I say this also because your students are watching and they would want to ask the question, why are we putting this document in when it's not going through the right Thank you very much. Uh, but you also worked with those people who are on the list. Um, the, the, the task force members, I think uh, it's only the, the, the briefing that some of them, I cannot remember, but I know quite a senior officials were on the task force briefing, and then the, um, the rest were the tech, uh, support team. So during this period, you, you worked with those members of the support team? Yes. Before you returned to Gambia in 2007, did you hear about the killing of Ghanaians and West African migrants in the country? Of course, that was in the public domain. Ah, well, that was in the public domain. I read a lot of um, newspapers on that issue. When I came back, nobody talked about it. But, but what was it that was in the public domain? But I will not say exactly what it was, but my perception is that. Um, Migrants were killed and there were eight in number. Ntia fulu la uko kwa nini kula mkenye mara mmoja? Bado bado ni nata mwenye kwa yangu daima lumi tajali mosaini ni yeye mufa. But it was also in the public domain that over more than eight West African migrants were killed. In fact, 56. West African migrants. Yes, that was also on the public domain. How often I take a court in Lankere matter? In fact, I have here a press statement by the current president of Ghana, 
this was a press release ki bar kaido so da me alon ko abota ganiano land sign president me alon ko abota wala la kamda the first bullet point in the in the in the press statement is that about 56 west africans comprising about 42 ghanians 10 nigerians 2 senegalese etc were killed in the gambia we ñu molel fa gambia banko kan jang ki bar ko ñi ya fe wala ñaam ay ay folo wala ñaam i have no information of that we le ki baru man tala man fu mo soto but but you know that gambia government was in denial Yes. Ha. And it was denying that uh, more than eight people were killed in the Gambia. Yeah, that denial I'm aware. Ha. We ilaw balang ko ng mususong bata ukalam ni. The government was also in denial about responsibility for the eight who were killed and on gambia ma sakunda min belu jam fanay balanda ñine la ko ñu manke man kan du noti mo seyo min fata in gambia banko fa in gana town gana town sato ko i have no information to write about o fala man ki bar soto ko to the government denied that those people were killed by government security forces man sakunda min belu jay balanda ñine la ko ka fuko na tan ko bunda mol wolle wol fa I only know about the the, the 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 circumstances which when you went through with uh, Madam Sisi yesterday. To me, is is just a cover up. But I only knew about that the number and then their response to that that uh, allegation. Mutumole muna talo mo yiko nanga momenti aninfana ilakulu keta nyamini bring ye mutajang. And also immediately after the 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 the, the new uh, the, the the departure of um, the former president. Aninfana bring remember president ya la jamu bra botajang dorom. I ordered to the CDS. Nani kalo the CDS la for the arrest of some jungles. When those junglers were escorted to me to to this to the CMC, Rio jungler solo na to CMC. Intermittently, I pop into CMC's office to find out what what the details. What do you what do you inform kata CMC kata prunsa lo mukuli betama kanje nyami. I remember the tall guy from Tujereng. Nakilo ba ka unjalo ni remember the Tujereng jata was telling the rest of the people to tell the truth. And he led my officers to identify all that are responsible for different crimes. That's the only time that I know a lot of things has happened. I look at them as if they are not human beings. When they started narrating, I move out because I could not take it. I only ask, I only ask the CMC to bring, at the end of the day, to bring, I have the copy of that here. You want to share that with us?
Mr. Chair, this is an interim report on missing persons. Mr. And uh, could you tell us who prepared the report? And to whom it was sent? Well, yeah. it is signed yeah, on King behalf Mayor. of panelists by Chief Superintendent of Police, Fake Badabo. And the mayor signed uh, panel on Toyala, well, and Chief Superintendent of Police, Fake Badabo. Well, I signed it Toyala. Uh, to whom was it addressed? Yeah, I requested for it. To, okay. All right. You, but you would agree it's not on the letterhead, so... No, but I requested for it. Right. Yeah, Thank because you. I, I, I do not continue listening to some of this. It's very, very uh, okay. shocking, and I said, let them, let them um, give me the uh, list. Because these are, this is from people who have done those atrocities, and they are still, they are not that much remorseful in the way they talk. Mr. Chair, if this document is accepted, it should be Exhibit 207A. What when did you order these investigations? It should be immediately of um, maybe maybe for have signed the date. Yes. The date. Uh, look at the last page. signed the did he state the date? 22 March 2017. March 22 March 2017. This is um, three months post Jame. But the investigation was on for that up to that point. It's immediately after Jamel's departure that I instructed I. Because my fear at that time is that quite a number of them will leave the jurisdiction if they are not controlled. Thank you very much. But that also does not change the fact that these violations should not have been allowed to happen in the first place. Of course not. And that these junglers were known to us before the fall of Jamie. You agree? Sunday. I don't think I know. I can only say I know one John Wula. And I come to know him when he came to my office. He is from Nyabali. When did he come to your office? Why did you mal not in the office? I don't remember vividly, but that was my first contact with the uh, uh, John Wula. Why did he come to you? He came and he said he has an accident with his vehicle. And the vehicle is badly damaged. It has been going up and down to traffic. And nothing happens. So I decided to call the Commissioner Fadia and inquire about the, past, the, the accident. Then Fadia told me that the file is almost ready. Did he ever come to your office about the case of the Ghanaians? No. no. Honey, honey. He came when I, I instructed Fadia to make sure that the matter is put before the court. 
It's very important. Okay, uh, something ahead. happened after that. Okay, what's mm -hmm. and it's also important that the commission knows what happened thereafter. I, after two weeks, he came to my office. To thank me. That he is compensated about two hundred and fifty thousand for the for the for the direct vehicle. Why I want to mention this thing? Sometime in 2015, 14 or 15. I was coming from my house in Jabang. That's why I'm building. Still building it. I was driving a Pajero. Although the number is not IGP one. IGP one I changed my number place to different regions. Because the fact that my vehicle is is well known, IGP one, you know IGP is here. So I applied for about seven number plates of all the regions. So I was coming from my house, just quite far from the estate junction. Just around ten o'clock. I saw about six people. Dressed in civil, my uniform there, but um, I can see a rifle by their sides. I decided when you to link onto the two because two are two on this one side and four on the other side. Kato when you muta puru kanyati limufula kato mufula be karadola mulani be karadola. I lowered my front glass. When I muto kanyati wero njindi. Then somebody in the mask said, Oga, move, 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 move. To me, the person doesn't want the rest of the people to know it's me. Like, because I'm not used to him, I But I managed to drive, and then after some distance, I put off my lights, and I was going into until somewhere around. I was going to Sukota, but I, I end up. Uh, Pulling out around uh, old and doom. But to my meter can but the But I still uh, comport myself. But having been known for muta to off my lights and then drive in the dark. Only the 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 small lights were on. Then I had my own thinking. I thought that because when he came to my office and he was moving out, my only who is presently with me here, came into my office. He said, "Do you know this man?" He's one of the junglers. I said he's a jungler. Uh, I think what I what I did is good too. Because he came to complain and I refer him to traffic and I, I think he's going to be looked after. I want to believe that this the person who was telling me to quickly because I did a favor to him, I did a favor for him. I'm not sure, but I, I want to believe that he's the person. This is why I want to be careful. Because I've never seen them before. You see, when they are coming to my office, all these, when you saw them, three at the CMC's office, you wondered whether these were human beings. Yeah. CMC's office, or I just had a phone call. Muhammad Madungol never found it. So even these seemingly evil people can sometimes extend courtesy and 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 uh, and and and, and uh, Save kindness life. Save to, life. to people. Ha! Hani ni seta ni molo. Watu ni wadi. Ifanal kakada maya kuluke moli yenye. And uh, when you ask them, they will tell you, "I'm a good man." I mean, As this person, I have done this help for him. 
dunia ini ni kaya sah fonda fana mumu kendolti katun lelenge ni makuru ke karie. But even before this time in 2014, you knew that there were a group of people called junglers in this country. Kabin jani in 2014 sangu ni yalo ne koko kafodo beje kafme junglers. I have been hearing black black, but not junglers. Meta mumu ila wole black black. Mumu kafin fulu dun barutu mumu manda ni junglers tola. Because when 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 I came from UK, uh, one of my officers who was with a PIU officer before, and transferred to the state house. In uh, that state house, the solo jiba. I think uh, I was told that he's black black. Yes, but I I don't know of junglers until recently. But the junglers store will pay my loan in full in Labour Latin. Mike. Mike. As recent as 2014. For 2014, we are on the But it was known that these black black were committing crimes. But a long time ago, you know, from Finland, like a barajo or kere. I know. I don't know of the crime that they committed. Mm -hmm. Time until it's too slow to me, but I know they are very rough. They are, they have series of encounters with my officers at checkpoints. Ina mo lo mambo la kulu kala mo juna fumi laba wala lemu bring ina kulu ina ati na kulu bonye nyoto. Bari na lo kuni mumu sana raba le tini katu ina ina mo lo katu sela ni la le dinkira lo kata asako eka lanya lo keda mo nyoto silo lo kang. Most of the time officers at checkpoint will come and say these people just bang on their. Uh, their, their, their signboard and then drove off. <laughs> Ninko police la operation commander yi diamu sojano la operation commander yi niyo kumanduro ke wati wati wunifunan kafu nako nilu mantara nte lamaro kotode so that's how they are yeah. umolu dole nyama nunu did they ever tell you under whose control they were inana kafu ene vejuma lamaro they always say state house but I want to believe that they are directly under general Baji and the former president Kafanya don kwenye ilivyo state house lakoto, bari nte lata mene wale mnyindi kwa general baje ni president wao eke danku wale la. And you know that by destroying the equipment you have in your checkpoints, they would have destroyed government property. Ni yeye lenye kwa police wako baka sul mene landi mano kanga wa checkpoint wao toka wili tinya, wamu kula tewe wili tinya la demia alonko e masakunda la fanya tinya. Of course, some, sometimes they don't even only stop in that, they will open fire. No, 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 ha, if you can't do anything, you can't do anything. You can't do anything, you can't do anything. That is for possible uh, pursue. Because mm -hmm. they, when they know that, because sometimes uh, when they, they are dealing in drugs and they check, they reach the checkpoint, they will always open fire so that the police will find back and they will run. Because we, that's our belief that, you know, they are onto drugs peddling. Kadu yimbo lo kalamu si ada hani drug si rafanya wolo kata mandi lalu ni ba si rafaso kang ifuatana mo lo malanya ato hana bokada ni la kui lanya ni taki wala kati ni eka kido bundi kafai puni ni kamala wari eka ni mira kono mo lo bila lelo maneke bayindi wadali yule ya sabu eka oke pu kaburi yata all three examples you have given are violations of the law. Hey, misal sabol men be di jang misal led me along ko be mundu wala lu ati nyaa. Of course. Have you ever caused these things to be investigated? And prosecuted? No, I did not. Why? You try to find out under whose command they are. You find it very tough to know who, who they are. So they are all there. I know they should be under the command of the, the CDS. But if the CDS, because the, as the IG, if you want to investigate anything, you have to let the CDS know and release that person to come. But if the CDS is saying they are not under my command, uh, it's difficult to know. 
Akakoleyele puruka yimmo la kuhu masata. Katu tumodo lumi ya kaldi kumandu roke. Puruka afu yimmo lu laftale puruka ije wala ke imondi silo wakamu. Fereti je fonga akumofuta ndi CDS mamemu ila kundu nkoti. Mamemu CDS fonga lo rakafuko. Nilu mantara ntela kama koto, mantara namaro koto. Sila ebe kui mtili mna jumane la. Awole kwa lukole ya ni. Mamemu those that are under my command. If there is any problem, uh, I'll, I'll get them. Uh, uh, were said. you afraid to investigate the state guards for the violations they have committed, not just of the law, but against your own people? Uh, I would not say I am afraid. What I want to believe is that I, I don't think I can. Why? If you want to wage a battle that you know you are going to lose, there is no need for you to wage a war. So you 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 please certain to me that if I request any of them. A quite a moment to know can you can in the sooner that kill you kill in the icono. I may ask likely replace them. But uh as a camera the new flaco Ali 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 is Ibundi Ali Alamari Josai. You are afraid for your own self. Not not only for my own self, because I will give directives as the as the as the inspector general of police. But my directives are going to be carried by some people. And I don't want to subject those people to those type of um, harassment. And no kalo di la melu la melu ba no masata la malafi uleta bu mantoro kono ni bulata ni mo la kono. It was certain to me that they will not win that war. I have situations. I have situations. Why, why do you describe it as a war? I think I'm just using that war this thing because I'm just saying you cannot. If you know that you are not going to win a war, why wage a war? I know I'm not, there will not be any success. And there's no need for, for me to go. I, I am sure you, you, you chose your words very carefully. You are a police, seasoned police officer, also a lawyer. You, 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 you use your words very carefully. You use the word war advisedly. No, you used it advisedly. <laughs> I don't think that is what I said, but I cannot interpret what I said in my <laughs> So we leave it at that. Uh, but, but, but you, in fact, you're just expressing the challenge involved and the difficulty involved in you doing your job. During that time, what was the call? I called me along with the boy. I was going in corner. I was going to the attendee. Can you go? What was that? Yes, that's that's right. What was that? And in fact, Kabi, you did not do your job in that regard because you needed to preserve yourself and also the safe your own safety and security and that of your men. I never do go go go. I never take my name. I never come along. I left the phone at tank and I never do go well for now. Yes, uh, my my concentration is more on my men. But if you hit my men, also I, I, I react. If you you hit my men, also I, I, I react. Have, I, I my men, 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 Get your people involved in a lot of things that you cannot get them out of. From. I can't. 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 I can
Hani bembai la wale fisi ni na mmo dolo dundi kule akono nte bundi mola dami. For me the issue here, the punde kuwa mendi jang. It's more about the environment, the status quo that existed at that time. Mo watu la kule la njia bemo njia bemo wala mu wala muntela kusuluri. Where we had entities and forces that we are not subjected to the law. Da mel di alango ma bunda soro dogo bunda soro mi alango wuluka. Definitely, there are, there are entities that are, that are above the law at that time. But in both realities, Bunda and Bukeri and many other people have been doing something like that. I personally had few of my officers detained in the NIA. But we have to say that 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 we have to say but what I was told is that uh, they were investing something. But they should have contacted me. But he went to the and then asked me. He said, Then I, if I want to hand over that person to them, I can hand over that person to them. And I don't know the circumstances, no information, no nothing, and you pick them and, and they are there with you. Mari Lamu. Mba dili ila lini yotumbo nata na wale nyanta kela Bari kumama mfonye Ima mbondi kukalama Ima nsarana Yonu mutane ya anyama dola diyate yetu niye nyeme This is the passing of Commissioner Jata Wale kita mwote kafumye Commissioner Jata And the author of that listing Fakeba Dabo Ani mmeyo kaitu saini kafumye Fakeba Dabo Then Fakeba was a superintendent Tumu Fakeba mu superintendent leti On a flancy report that was Filed against him by another police officer and then police do kula dole for another kuma kuma furi safia la kuto do mpru eh 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 in yenta mutala menka tell me mr witness siyedo afanye should a police complaint against a fellow policeman be a matter that should go to the nia police o anyon police o kuzo romia nongo kule akule da mal tema ayinana kuota ayabole nia fo nyan labang aman nyan kela is wrong aman ki silo in fact that to me, NIA should not handle any uh, complaints. In the fall of the year, the NIA manyan na wasida, wo wasida tala ukuldo. I was with the police when the, SB, the special branch was on. You don't know police, bring ila ubunda ya kafumi a special branch. Me ya nanko ila bintu ba fayen. NIA is the official of the special okay. branch. NIA ya munda ya jenu mucho kingdom ito special branch la karola. Special branch never uh, um, operate like that. Special branch we cannot do court among the new yama. Even among us, we don't know some of them. And in telephone we cannot know. Do we know we cannot find? They operate clandestinely. We cannot do court among the ifayenne. Their duty was only to file their report, not to arrest. And we cannot do court among the court. We cannot do court among the court. I don't know. But in December, we will put a memo. How this was changed? Man, along with the Falinta Nyadi, I want to also blame the lawmakers. But in left hand, we are the one. Because they have gone to the extent of mandating, giving mandate to investigate to the NIA. But we tell them how to put the law down to put a call and in some way the NIA will not kiss kiss you like a roller. From from the the DB to the Act of Parliament. Abu, I bring that to the Kata Hanu for the people who follow that. So that's the situation. Abu, I believe in the law. You would agree with me, you've mentioned earlier, that the investigations of the killing of the West African migrants was a government cover-up. Well, when facts are known now, it's a cover-up, definitely, by all circumstances. But even that time, when this task force was set up, it was known that it was a cover-up, especially within the circles of police. Probably it will be done by people who are here at the time and they know the facts. I don't know the facts. All the time. All the time. is that some migrants are, were, were, were killed here. But 
the circumstances of their killing and, and, and the report that you read the last yesterday or just the day before yesterday, this was a big surprise because when you are going through the report, I was also watching and I, this is it's terrible. And I did not go to the all the reports. I, I, I look at it as a report. I, I think I, I, I went to the, the, the introduction. But I had contact with this report in 2009. Okay. But just to witness, Hello. even those who participated in the earlier cover up. We are part of your support team. I, I only know about that when when I, I, when you read these things to, to me. I, I know they are part, all the people that are mentioned here are part of the task force. But when I look at the this thing, I now reflect on the membership. But I think I'm the only person who was not here at the time. When we are carrying when we the task force in Kono Ibijele, but we do not know tomorrow. When we are going to Kano, during a few one year certain months, a long period of time, we are going to be able to During these investigations, in case we are going to be in Kano. You had cause to ask for the diary. Uh, I, I went Bara. to make a verification on that. And that was no investigation as far as I'm concerned. My task is to make available certain documents to the to, 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 to the, the UN team, the UN ECOWAS team. Facilitate the conduct of their, their investigation. But at this time you knew that the Gambia government denied that more than eight Ghanaians were arrested in this country. Yes, Ghanian didn't say uh, Imam Murajang. As I said, I'm never aware of that. Well, all I know is that I know, confirmed that eight f uh, migrants were killed here. No, for me, for me, the denial no. aspect of it, I'm not opportune to see that. No, for me, for me, I'm not opportune to see that. 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 Probably I was not here at the time. I'm not opportune to see that. But you did say earlier that you knew that the government denied. No, I said I knew that the, these Ghanaians were killed, and you went further to ask me whether I know the Ghanaians denied. I said I confirm that foreign nationals are killed here, and they are eight in number, but the denial of the government, that I don't know. Well, it is quite worrisome and shocking that you would be appointed uh, to this position and you did not even know what the government position was. Which position are you referring to? Whether the government accepted or denied my previous position or my previous position? Your previous position at the time, as CMC appointed to this task force. Why the government this is a policy matter and I'm on a personal side? You asked for the diary from Bara. I said no, I don't need to submit that to the diary from Bara. 
Who asked you to submit it to the UN? In the no, you said whatever they requested. That's what we should make available to them. Yes. Then I call back. But, but who asked you to give them the diary? For Bara. No, because I, I was the one coordinating. And I have no specific instruction as to do this, do this. Tell me about who you can do. But in many years, I was so careful. So, so you, you, you believed that the diary from Bara would be necessary, correct? Yes, because I, I look at the uh, uh, Amnesty, Amnesty or uh, the Martin Case report, and he mentioned certain places. And I requested those those those, those diaries. Well, we are Martin Kerry, Allah, the Awokun, the Lord, the Lord, the Yah, the Men of Four. So I didn't care about Men of Four. The Lord, the Yah, Sabulla, the Lakoro, the Men of Four. The Lord, the Yah, 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 the Men of Four. For Bara, I, I, tried can point was, uh, Bara. I tried to find out from the Bara station as to whether uh, the, the, uh, the diary of that date is, is available, and uh, I was told I was referred to Jawara Demba. Then Jawara Demba said, Let me ask uh, Babu Kalba. You know, I called Babu Kalba, he came to my office. Uh, didn't you find it odd? <laughs> That you will ask all these people and they would still continue to refer you to some other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Puruka ibe saundi saundi na kafuwe kari yininka kari yininka kari yininka. Of course. Ah. What did it raise in your mind? I'm gonna we suffer the decision no more no kuni. What raised my why are they why they for me I think they are just shifting responsibilities to each other. Ndi la mira roto. Amunda be dunyonye saundi saundi yininka ne ka ka la yoka. That's that's that at that time. What tempo? But why? Well, I, I may not know the reason at that time. But now I know the reason. During that time, you called Ba. What was the conversation? And what was the conversation? I came to my office and I asked him about the, 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 the diary. And he said, sir, this diary was requested by the Honorable Minister of Interior. Some years ago. Bako ni minister ni marcha banko kanku ni ala wole ni ndari kani sanji danta komando. And it should be with him. Andwa nyanta tarla wa minister la bulu. But at this stage, intended, what was your reason for wanting the bar, the bar a diary? Muna mwe dali lo dinu, memba sabu la yebe sula nanu bar a la diary la. For me, I think it's going to be, because it's mentioned, I only rely on the, the, because the complaint must have been must have come from either Amnesty International or Martin Kerry, so okay. I went to Martin Kerry's um, this thing, um, 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 extract of his statement from the, the the Amnesty International. But but why was the diary relevant? I am sure Martin sure, sure. Kerry would not tell you about the diary in Bara. Why was the diary relevant? Don't overlap. Yes. I thought at that time this is going to be one of the issues, that one of the because if they are coming to investigate, it's, it's obvious that they will reach to all these places and or they request diaries of that. 
nani interaje le wala sike amnesty international la kani ndiroje bari nina ataje kwa wato nini mwini nata ina sula dalu ali ya nitafuta la dame mtu u better li la kudu kuru na puli esiki ila kisikisuru ya nitafuta la dame mtu but my question really is of all documents that can potentially be at the police station why did you specifically request for the diary kwa ito mbe mbe ala nko lebe tata police station mbe ya sabu al wale diary nji mfao kani I did not only request for the diary, I request for an investigation report on the matter. Man diary ni ndam man kaninde. Hani kisi kisi kuwa lume luketa kuwa nyi mto. Ufanang akaito lume kaninde. But still the question is, why would you want the diary to be brought? What is the specific significance of the diary? I have to answer that the diary nye na. Because this is not recent diaries. And, and, if I allow the investors to come up to it on the ground, it may take a reasonable time because they, have, they, they, they are only here for, I don't know, four days. Yeah. But you, you're missing the point. The point is, what is the significance of the diary to this yeah, investigation? Yeah, because I, I, I have to believe that there are some, some of the activities concerning the missing persons will be in the diaries. Nata nyo lako ni kisikisiru la nata jang Ni mandari ni kani njuna Ni mfu nata jang purka na dari kani ni mwota be melele Adu nata la nyo mfana lako Ni mwa kuonu be bulona Woto nyo mwa nume nyo ye mantateng Aketa watu ni wairi ila kuwa funa utabarala Woto ila kuwa betana safari ni Barala dari ila kama wala na usuna tano dari ila Ok Did you see the diary eventually? Yeah, the diary was produced and an extract was made for me for that period. I was in Bundile, and we were talking the diary in Kono, no Bundia Kono and Kumo. Where is that extract? Where is that extract? It was pre presented um, because I just want to, but if you want me to. I Go know. ahead. Yes. What happened is that um, when Bar told me that uh, it's with the the Honorable Minister. Mwale nye ntibirim bako nye nkwa be Honorable Minister bulu. I consulted the IG, Esa Baji. Watu mo Esa Baji nang IG ti nga yu ninka? But we are together. I'm not quite sure who among us called the former minister. Mbele bijie nye nye bari nye kakina ubota la main former nye nye minister koto kumandi. Could either myself or Esa Baji. Asike mfa uti wala Esa Baji. And his response is that you check with Numo Kujabi. Then that's how we stopped. Later on in the day, Mumo came and told me that, um, did you, you ask the minister about the file? Yes. About the diary, I said yes. Do you want to make extract? Well, after film the tala diary in Kurobang. Well, I think it was in a safe custody with him. Atunami ra utembo diary in Bati na bulo kono. And he made a start for me. Tuno lang ay kubo ni safeke bumi diary in kono. I kept that. That is just a day or two before the arrival of the team. And we were getting into all them till killing when the telephone had jammed me. We were not able to get out of the island. So I wanted to submit it on the on the very day. Lafta ni mkao kaiti kaito dila lume mfuna yifunata jang. But they never requested for it. Pari yuma ina kanini. I kept it with me. Na mabu mfambulu. Until finally when they completed their distance. Nani fuburi ye la judero ni kifo ya abang. And then I submitted it to them. Tumwa na nina tao kaito chika na dila. Upon their request. Bili ubari bari ya kanini nefana u. Did the diary contain any information? The diary from Bara. Did it contain any information about the West African migrant? Diary ni mkono. Vua, I have some food here. I may alone come. So you need ni ni Africa to live in Dallas. Bangu ni mmoja la kuwa bangu. Me, the activities that I thought would have been in that diary were not there. Ah, ni tala miro to. Na miro ni kuli mimi ni nte tala wa diary kono. Imantaraji. So, so what did that? What information did you glean from that? What conclusion did you draw from that? Well, I don't know. If you don't know what has happened, it's going to be difficult because to know whether this, this should, all these names or whatever should be there. Because I was not here. But all that I know is that from Martin's statement, he made mention of uh, Bara. Uh, what do you know why? It is important they were arrested and taken to Bara police station. 
Mr. Chair, perhaps this is a convenient time to stop for lunch break. Uh, from the yeah, Council, yes, we would do that. But I want to hold off a little bit on the uh, granting of your request concerning Exhibit 207A. Mm -hmm. I think I, we would need a bit more explanation mm -hmm. on uh, the, you know, the genesis of that document. Mm -hmm. The only, uh, there are only two things clear to me at the moment, and uh, one is a uh, uh, witness saying here that he requested mm -hmm. um, uh, the, uh, this document. And the second is um, uh, uh, Fakeba Davos' um, signature mm -hmm. on the document dated on um, 22nd March mm -hmm. uh, 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, the document has got quite a few interpreters, don't worry about this, this between Council and myself and the past witness. Um, the document has 10 investigations um, uh, summarized to a certain extent. A summary of that one, each one has got them um, at three uh, subsections, one dealing with um, the description of um, uh, the investigation itself that is summarized, and the other one dealing with uh, a list of um, uh, suspects, suspects um, uh, that are in custody, and in the third um, uh, section dealing with su suspects that are at large. One example is um, uh, the one dealing with the two Gambian uh, Americans, and uh, you have a description of the investigation itself, and the second category, those who are in custody, about three of them, and then uh, uh, the last one, suspects at large, um, has 10 individuals um, mentioned there. On top of that list is some um, uh, former President Yaya Jami. I think we would need a bit of uh, explanation on what this document is before we admit it. And I think I'm aware, Council, when you said if it is um, accepted, that conditional thing, I suspect um, uh, you, are, you are probably on the same page. So we'll come back to that. And uh, in the meantime, if uh, the witness could just prepare himself um, to just explain, give us a bit more background on that document before we admit or grant um, uh, its inclusion in the exhibit. Okay. We will I, take a, uh, uh, thank take you very much. I will also want to, because this is, uh, I, I lose my own copy and I ask the investigators to send me another copy, it is in their file, they send it. That's why the, it appears to be, the papers appears to be new. They made a photocopy for me. But um, I only want, also want to, if, if the, the information could be photocopied so that I have a copy. Yeah, it is a bit convoluted. But uh, we will um, clear that up, and uh, if you can give us a bit of background okay. before we admit it um, to the well. list. Uh, Council, um, uh, we will um, uh, come back to this, and uh, if we, well, I will come back to you on the question of um, granting uh, its inclusion. Uh, uh, okay, in all right. Areas. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Yeah, sure. Okay. We will okay. take a break and then come back at 3 o'clock. Uh, meetings adjourned. Thank you all very much. Gambia may be the smallest country in Africa, but it will host the second largest gathering of world leaders in 2022 to successfully host the OIC summit and put the Gambia